turned up at the Aegeus Bowl for our first fixture of the season in a big internal warm-up game at the Vipers and actually Paul Pritchard um, pulled me over in between innings. He said, I've got something important I need to talk to you about and I thought, oh no, what have I done? Um, and he asked me actually if I'd like to sort of get involved and, and be the club captain and I was, um, you know, very honoured to, to take on the role. I've got so many fond memories myself of obviously the Lost Taverners, watching my dad uh, going to various different scenic locations around the country um, following him and it's such a prestigious charity and the work that they've done has been so phenomenal for young people across the UK so hopefully I can help raise awareness and contribute to creating more positive impacts for those people. I was quite taken aback to sort of hear the stat of 4.1 million young people across England and Wales sort of facing inequality I think supporting their three programmes wickets, super ones and Table cricket is so pivotal in, in creating a difference and again giving opportunities to people who probably want to get involved but feel like they can't. Hopefully um, I can come in with the Lord's Taverners and raise awareness and raise the profile of what we can do to help and what we have on offer to support those young people across the country. Hopefully you know I can make an impact. I think there's a big need for for role models in this day and age with the growth of sort of social media and everything being so out there. It wasn't until I was 12 or 13 that I actually realised that, that girls play cricket and then um, I probably had one female role model as a youngster which was Claire Connor and she's the only person I knew and I think after playing the 100 last summer it raised my awareness of how important female role models are in this day and age because to see those young girls just having access to sort of watching cricket and, and be so close to players um, and feel like they can have that connection with players. Hopefully we can provide avenues for young children now to go on and, and play cricket, whether that's to become a professional cricketer or whether it's just you know a hobby and, and they want access to it. Nobody should be excluded from playing sport and being outside and doing what they love.